Yes, I forgot about this little bit of time. Um, do we have the news, the next speaker? Because I want I want them in order to pronounce their name. Hello. Hi. Hello, everyone. I am Yashasvi. You can also Yashasvi. call me. Yeah, you can also call me Yashi if you find my Yashi. name a bit of a tongue twister. So, <laughs> yeah, I think I'll start with my talk then. Oh, all right. Uh, and you're going to talk to us about personal growth and the Python community, right? Yeah. Awesome. OK, I'll, I'll leave you to it then. Um. Thanks. So hello, everyone. Today, I will be giving a talk on personal growth and the Python community. So I'm Yashasvi. You can call me Yashi. And I'm currently a student researcher at Samsung, a community builder, and an avid Pythonista. So before I start with the session today, I would like to walk you people through today's agenda. First, we will be discussing of what exactly is an open tech community. Then I will be sharing my journey before I joined Python community, followed by what impact this community had on me. Then I will share about various benefits which come along with being a part of any other community. Here, I'll mostly focus on the Python community. Then how and where to start from if you want to make the best out of your community experience. And lastly, we will be discussing about PyLadies. So without any further ado, let's get started. So coming to the first question is, what exactly is an open tech community? An open tech community, it is nothing but it is a group of people who are passionate about certain technology, uh, certain programming language, or any technical domain. And they come together to find like-minded people, learn more from each other, and explore that particular technology's use cases. There's no specific eligibility criteria to become a part of these communities. You do not have to pass any tests or you know, any interviews. Uh, all you need is that uh, interest and willingness to learn. However, there are certain communities which are um, focused on encouraging the underrepresented groups in tech. So if you do not uh, belong to those groups, then uh, I think that you cannot uh, you know, join those communities. However, you can always explore other communities which are out there. These communities, they organize a lot of meetups, social gatherings, hackathons, conferences, with the primary aim of encouraging, of sharing of knowledge amongst participants and to support new innovative ideas. So if you're starting to learn something new, some new technology, and you don't know where to you know, go about how to start, you do not have any peer to start with, go about with, join any community and you will find like-minded people here. So uh, talking about my journey before I joined a Python community, um, so here I have a small story of mine to share with all of you. And I feel that if anybody is going through similar circumstances, they would you know, know what to do. So back in my first year, I joined this coding club in my college. And I uh, like this club had you know, just started. And I joined the technical domain, which was mainly focused on machine learning and data science. And so how things used to work in this domain were that we were asked to do certain uh, tasks Initially, when we were when we joined, we were trainees, so we were asked to do online courses, which then you know changed to doing uh, small projects, Kaggle notebooks, and then we used to have reviews regard, uh, for that. So uh, I was you know very very thankful to become a part of the technical domain. I was so happy because of that, and I you know always stuck to my deadlines. I was very particular about them, about my reviews, and I worked really very hard so that you know, there's not, nothing goes wrong in my reviews. So this used to happen. And coming one year ahead, when I was in my sophomore year, I saw that you know, my classmates, my peers, uh, who were the part of other clubs, they were getting a chance to take up different, different sessions, not uh, focused on technical sessions, but any other session that they were you know, into. So my, one of my friends, he also gave a, a talk on graphic designing. So I you know, knew that this is something which is coming to my club very soon. And I had never given a talk before. And I was so excited you know, that um, if there's some beginner's data science event, I would definitely would love to give a talk on that. So when this opportunity came, 
uh, I was not considered to give a talk. And uh, there were two other guys who were, you know, uh, given this opportunity to go up and give a talk. Now, I did feel sad, but uh, more than being sad, I felt very confused. Now, feeling confused, uh, I thought, you know, I need to uh, put an end to this confusion. And I went up to my seniors and talked to them regarding this on, you know, where did I lag behind or why wasn't I even considered to give a beginner session of data science? Because, you know, I had good hold on the basic Python libraries that were being taught in that uh, event. So, you know, they gave some excuses. They said that it was a mistake and you will be surely given a chance in the next event that takes place. However, when there was a next event, I was given a line or two to introduce the club and there was no technical session as such I was given to take up. But, you know, I, you know, kind of let it slide past. I just thought, you know, maybe next session I would be given a chance. Now, the second thing that happened was it was back in March 2020. So the speaker thing was happening in Jan 2020. And back in March 2020, the COVID crisis had hit our country. So all our colleges were closed and we had to go back to our home. And we were, you know, attending all the club meetings, uh, uh, using all these uh, uh, like on Zoom platform. And we were asked to do group projects. So I was the only girl in the technical domain at that point of time. So I teamed up with two other guys. So just to avoid any confusion, let's say guy A and guy B were my teammates. So guy A was proposing his, you know, the project um, uh, idea uh, to the seniors. And the seniors, you know, they asked, like, um, you know, what are your views? Um, what are your inputs? How do you like to, you know, would like to take the project further? So I thought, you know, just because he's uh, proposing the idea, that's why they're asking him. However, they came up to the guy B as well and asked him similar question. So now I was like, OK, this question is very soon coming up to me, and I need to prep up an answer. However, after asking Guy B, they said, OK, fine, you can you know, continue with the project. And I was like, wait, did they not see that I was uh, present in the meeting? Or did they not know that I'm also there in the team, like in that project thing? So, you know, I kind of felt like, okay, there's some problem from their side and I really need to talk because this is something like I, uh, my existence and my views and inputs are not just being considered at all. So I went up to my technical lead this time because he was almost like responsible for all the technical stuff that was happening in the club, events, projects, etc. So I went up to him, I was talking to him. I think I asked too many questions in um, very short uh, time so you know I just might push him to the brink that he said you know I don't feel that you that have that confidence to you know uh, present our club before um, like college students and give up a technical session give a technical session there after listening to this you know I had been in club for like more than one year and I felt that I do not know these people properly and um, I did not know what to say so I completed uh, the project that I was working on. And last year, in July 2020, I left the club. Um, I left it with very little exposure. I did not know about any you know, open tech communities that they were outside. I had a lot of stage fright. I have it uh, now as well. And little knowledge of tech. So I was you know, always just thinking about machine learning, data science. I was not only thinking of uh, what other things can be done to explore other things. And my self-esteem, my self-confidence was hitting rock bottoms after this incident. So now, impact of the Python community. Now, this is where the happy part of my story starts. Um, I was on call with my friend after leaving the club. And I was asking him, you know, if you know about some um, community outside, uh, out in the city, not in the college, um, tell me about it. So he told me about a person who was the organizer of PyCon India at that point of time. And he was active in other communities as well. So he asked me, uh, you know, uh, you can, you know, reach out to this person on Twitter and he might suggest you something really good. So this is what I did. I reached out to this person on Twitter and he asked me if I was, you know, interested in becoming a part of Pi Ladies Chennai. Now, I had never heard of Pi Ladies at that point of time. <laughs> I did not know what Pi Ladies was. But the name was quite self-explanatory. And you know, um, I felt um, like this community will be having you know, women with similar interests as me working in Python. 
So let's join this community and let's see what it has in store. I was accompanied with one uh, friend of mine as well. Uh, she also had uh, similar experience, experiences as me in the other college club that she was a part of. We both joined this community. It was our uh, first uh, meeting and we were giving our introduction. So my friend, uh, she was, you know, very uh, nervous while she was giving her introduction and after you know she was stammering in between so after she had given her introduction fully she said you know uh, she in a very ap apologetic tone you know uh, please pardon me because um, i am very very nervous and uh, like low self confidence and this is something uh, which is also you know stopping me from giving some sessions outside in public speaking activities i'm not able to participate the uh, um, our organizer of pi ladies chennai she was so supportive she said you know if you have to break out of that shell you need to come out of your shell okay if you really want to do something and we are here to fully support you and the first meet up that we organized after becoming a part of pi ladies chennai was my friend's first ever session that she gave a session on css art she is a great css artist and after that you know she became so confident that she went on to give other sessions and right now she is also uh, you know running her youtube channel so yeah after becoming the part of the community like pirates chennai we organized a lot of meetups through those meetups i get to learn i got to learn a lot of things i learned how to deploy ml models i learned how to use python and tulio together to make a word of day sms bot then the guidance from the seniors who were there in our community it was great uh, most of our seniors they were working in industry so you know as people in college we were kind of you know uh, knowing what is expected from us in industry and you know how we should be leading our college life and should not be taking so much tension about uh, getting into industry as soon as possible so talking to so many people it did boost my confidence a lot so Uh, the various initiatives that i was working on um, by becoming a part of pi ladies chennai so there were uh, there was this initiative of saturday shout out so what we used to do here is that um, we are still actually working on it and uh, here we um, interview uh, various women and about their journey in tech so far about their challenges that they have faced and how did they overcome and how you know they went about achieving so much and we publish a blog with that interview that we take from them so through this initiative i got to interact with a lot of women and i'm still interacting with a lot of women and i got to know about their journey how did they you know overcome their challenges then the monthly meetups that we were organizing so we had to reach out to different speakers we had to do different stuff we had to you know uh, look out for that uh, social media outreach so by doing all of this my communication skills i did not even realize but my communication skills polished a lot and yeah so technical projects when i whenever i think this is something which is very common whenever you are doing some project you do get stuck up at some place and you have to you know you have doubts community uh, is very helpful at that point of as well i remember i just used to you know post it up in the group you know i'm facing this issue there might be you know people might take some time to reply but there will be someone or the other who will definitely reach out to you for that and this is my personal experience that i have seen and finally my journey as a speaker started um in february 2021 i gave my first ever technical session at pi ladies after that i went on to give uh, different sessions at women who code women who, women in ai and today i am giving my first ever international talk at euro python so you know exactly one year after uh, you know in Jul uh, july to 2020 i left the club um, you know with my self esteem hitting rock bottom and today i am giving a talk here so if in one line if i would have to sum it up of uh, how this community has impacted me i would say that i feel empowered now coming to the benefits which come along um with the python community learn grow evolve you get to learn a lot from different people here and it's not only the technical knowledge that you gain from people it's also the different advices that they give 
um, you cannot make all your mistakes uh, right you have to learn from other people's experiences and that is you know i have done so much after becoming the part of community i have interacted with so many people this helps us to grow as a better person and we evolve a lot the supportive environment here is i don't know like it was awesome you might be an absolute beginner absolute beginner you might not be having any skill and there would be some person who would be you know like in my language super skilled but they would be so down to earth and they would help you out if you are you know just stuck up in something which might be you know very common for them or something which is not that big for them and they would be like it is easy to do it however they will help you out this is like uh, people have helped me out and the community is very inclusive of everybody of you know different people from different demographics there's no bias on based on gender ethnicity etc um so this year uh, in may 2021 i attended pycon us so not only was this my first ever pycon this was my first ever international conference that i was attending and like i got to interact with so many people on the pycon us platform on their you know um, open spaces i got to interact with people from google microsoft python software foundation bloomberg um since you know i am you know aspiring to be a software engineer or get into data science machine learning i was talking to this person from bloomberg he is a software engineer there and uh, he was telling me about uh, i think he uh, graduated in 2017 and he was telling me about you know how did he prepare for his interviews how he was doing and he also told me about uh, his company's culture and what is expected of you know the freshers who are joining so i got a really good insight and like i talked to him for a good amount of time and you know he gave me a lot of advice on interview preparation and how to go about it then i remember i got into the open space for python software foundation and all the psf fellows were sitting there and i was so much intimidated like oh my god these are god level people i thought you know i will just sit in there um, quietly i'll just uh, see whatever they are talking about and then i'll just sneak out however when i entered so they were the ones who you know first greeted me and they you know go uh, got me involved in the conversation itself and i you know shared my experience i uh, you know i just forgot like all that uh, thing that i was going in my mind before joining the open space and i was so happy you know to talk to them to share my experience in the python community till then and uh, yeah so uh, like i said uh, by becoming the part of the community you would not even realize when your communication and technical skills grow like you will be you know talking to people doing stuff just like that and then you would you know like so happy you would not re even realize on how they have grown so well interacting with people from all around the world so what has happened because of this pandemic um i know it has been very hard however communities they have grown very much closer virtually on the virtual space so initially all these events they were organized and they were organized in a particular region so they were accessible to people who were in their region but now uh, if you are interested you might be in any other part of the world and you can you know um, attend their uh, conference meetups and etc for me like pycon us i would not be able to attend it this year had it not been virtual so yeah and the great amount of knowledge that is shared so i remember um, uh, attending my first mentored open source sprint i did not even know that there's something called mentored open source sprint dev sprints so i attended one of those and i got a pr merged in numpy so i'm a complete noob in open source right now i contributed to their documentation and the feeling that i had oh my god my pr got merged in numpy oh my god i had been using numpy for so long and when you know that got so this is uh the thing like i my open source journey it started from here and the workshops and the networking open spaces that you know there are in the different um, conferences uh they are really very helpful that you know you get to learn a lot and you get to interact with people a lot 
now coming to the question how and where to start from this is something you know my juniors and my peers they ask me a lot you know we just get added to the um, conversation channel or the community and then we are just sitting there we do not know how to you know go about it so um, here like there is no certain road map regarding that however you know um, i can share my journey on how did i go about it so uh first and foremost thing is that you need to explore the different communities that you would like to join and you have to see that uh, if those communities they align with your interest that is very important so you know go up to their official pages do a little research and there are a whole lot of communities like uh, google developers group women who code python community if you're looking for student based communities you have uh, microsoft learn student ambassadors community all of these communities they have their conversation channel so like uh, slack zulip etc uh, for those of you who do not know zulip zulip is an open source project it is a similar conversation channel just like slack however it's a bit um, confusing but you do get uh, grow accustomed to using it as you join it so there are two communities that i have been a part of and they use zulip anita b open source team and pycon india these two communities i know that they are using zulip so the most important part is to take initiative and talk to people this is something which is very very important if you need to make you know your community experience really worth it i know this is very it's not very easy for everyone i am introvert myself it was you know very much difficult for me to you know going up to the person talk to them a whole lot of things were going in my mind so um if uh, if you happen to meet them offline um so you know just walk up to them talk to them and if it's an online space reach out to them on different social media platforms like linkedin twitter and i know many times you might not get the reply that you were expecting or you might not even get a reply but do not lose your heart because of that uh, it is not only one person who forms the community right there are a lot of people reach out to as many people as you can talk to them and mostly i've seen community people are very welcoming so uh, you know there's nothing like that they will not reply to you or anything like that reach out to organizers of the community this is something that i have done um had i not reached out to the organizer of pycon i would not have been uh, knowing what py ladies is and had not been you know a part of it and i did reach out the organizer of women who code data science chapter um you know because i used to fill out their volunteer form but i did not receive any reply so there might have been some glitches on the back end so the next time when i fill the form this time i sent a request to all the evangelists of that particular community and you know i talked to them uh, and i told them like the first one who uh, accepted my request i told her you know how much i'm interested in this field and i really really want to be a part of this community uh, so after that not only did i become the part of their community but i also got to take up a session so yeah then network with as many people as you can in a community with networking it's not only the technical knowledge as i've said before you get to learn from their experiences you talk to people you get to learn how they have you know um, uh, faced challenges in their life how they have you know grown out of them and then yes you uh, get a lot of opportunities uh, you might get uh, that job or an internship that you had been looking for you might find the very teammate that you were looking for to participate in a hackathon or to you know do collaborate on some project and in mentors you might find a great mentor for you like in my case i have found really very good mentors then uh, collaborate on different events and projects now this is uh, one very important skill no matter wherever you go whatever job you might apply or wherever you are you need to have that skill uh, you need to know how to work in a team so on you know collaborating on the different initiatives in a community that increases uh, this you know that helps you to grow this uh, quality of yours i have collaborated in a lot of events uh, like when we used to organize meetups we are still organizing them uh, even the saturday shout out initiative that i was a part of um, we were uh, like if i was interviewing a woman someone else was you know making the poster someone else was uh, helping with the social media outreach in the meetups 
if somebody was working, you know, reaching out to the speaker, um, I was helping with the social media outreach. And this way, you know, you get to know how to put out a successful project out there with a team. Now coming to Pi Ladies, um, this community is really very, very close to my heart. This is where my whole community adventure started. Pi Ladies is an international mentorship group uh, which uh, focuses on increasing the participation of women in Python open community. Uh, however, if you even identify as a non-binary individual, you're most welcome to join. It is a part of the Python Software Foundation, and it was founded in 2011. It increases uh, diversity in the Python open community by organizing various outreach and educational events, conferences, social gatherings, hackathons. And PyLadies has more than 40 chapters around the world. So for those of you who do not know what a chapter is, a chapter is nothing but it is a local or a regional branch of that global organization, main organization. And both of them share the same mission. So yeah. And as I said, that these communities, they have grown very much closer virtually. Even if you do not find a chapter nearby you, join the global Slack channel of PyLadies. See uh, uh, all the different channels which are present in there, and you will find you might find a chapter that you know really interests you or is working, you know, um, like uh, on the particular technologies that you are interested in. So this was it. Um, um, I was like really was delighted to have um, to have given this talk, and thanks for having me here. If you want to talk to me uh, more about community building, how to become a part of community, or even other topics that you feel I am you know, experienced in, do reach out to me on Twitter or LinkedIn. The handle is right in front of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ashi, Ashi for sharing your experience and uh, evangelizing uh, Pilot. It's, it's great that we have uh, an amazing community that builds this these little uh, communities that help people to be more involved. Um, yeah, thanks. Um, unfortunately, we don't have we don't have time to go for the questions, uh, yeah. so I'm I'm going to have to say bye to you. Um, thanks for coming. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs>